Welcome back to my little channel. Well, the title kind of says it all, so I'll get right into it. What is The War of the Worlds? Well, The War of the Worlds is a novel written by H.G. Wells in the end of the 19th century. The 19th century? That's long ago. Yeah, 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 don't worry. We'll get closer to home, because they made a radio adaptation for it in 1938 which obviously isn't as far ago. Now, some of the people might know that the radio adaptation is the thing that made it famous, because people got scared and people thought it was a real thing. Kind of the idea of the story, I guess. Though I think that the ones that made the radio broadcast didn't realize how big of a deal it would be. Okay, so what does this have to do with COVID, if anything? Well, in all fairness, it's only um, to, to draw a line between the two. Because obviously, the War of the Worlds was never real. And, and COVID is real, don't get me wrong. It's, it's real. People do die from COVID. But the people that die from COVID are the vast minority of the people that are now counted. Because this is true in, in, in the Netherlands, this is true in... Great Britain, the CDC in America actually said, like, okay, you know what? 6% of the people that die from COVID die purely from COVID. The vast majority of people die with comorbidities, and each of these comorbidities can be life threatening in itself. So, COVID may merely have been the, the, the final uh, drop that runs the bucket. But there are people that are counted as COVID deaths that are merely mentioned that they may have COVID in their system, but it's probably the car crash that killed them. So we are being lied to in the same way as people were being lied to when War of the Worlds was on the radio. The thing is, War of the Worlds on the radio was supposed to be entertaining, but it took a scary turn. I have the feeling that the way that we are now scared of COVID-19 or SARS-CoV-2 is not a mere side effect to a nice story. I really have the feeling that our fear is being cultivated. And, and it's not just the media that does this. Politicians play along with it as well. This is why so many countries and so many media outlets are negative about Sweden. Because Sweden simply doesn't seem to want to follow along. How come Sweden isn't scared? There are lots of people dying in Sweden. Yeah, there are people dying in Sweden, that is true. But um, it's not that extremely much more than any of the other countries. So it seems that Sweden may have had the right idea. Now it seems more likely that there are people behind this whole scaremongering of society that want to find out how far they can go with their control. Now, what do I base this on? Well, nothing really, other than, of course, the masks that were time and again told didn't do anything, but now all of a sudden in a lot of countries it's mandatory, or the fact that more and more countries, well, their healthcare systems are not being overburdened by this COVID thing, but are still not really open to everyone. And now people are dying because the fact that the healthcare system isn't running because of COVID is actually killing them. People that have cancer that were treatable at the beginning of the COVID situation, but are now beyond saving because, well, we have to be on time with a lot of treatments. People who lose limbs because they didn't get the treatment they wanted. People that die of heart attacks that could have been saved. And that's not counting the people that commit suicide uh, because of anxiety attacks or the people that lose their jobs. We will see the impact of this whole COVID thing for the coming years. And I mean, UNICEF is e even warning that we might get to see starvation. Not because we don't have enough food, but, well, we won't have enough food because we don't distribute it and farms aren't really able to, to, to do their jobs because people won't come and pick up the goods. This is, all in all, a terrible thing. And, and 
maybe in two years I will listen back to this and say, <laughs> look at that, I was scared. But there is a chance that in two years people will hear this and think, why the hell didn't we think of this before? And it's not that I'm so smart, it's not that I see these things, because a lot of this information is out there. As I said, UNICEF is actually warning for the outcome of this whole scaremongering thing. So, what's going on? Well, basically, people need to start waking up that the War of the Worlds may have been a nice story, but it's not something to panic over. Like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined. I am curious about your thoughts. Do leave criticism behind. That's always welcome. But no, no, seriously, I am interested in your thoughts. Are we being uh, wagged by the tail? Are we being made scared of a virus that, even though it is real, is not nearly as impactful as we are being told it is. Anyway, I hope to see you all next time.